Hey guys, what's going on? Coach Jacqueline here and I am with Coach Byron. We are gonna demo today's workout for you. All the equipment you need for today, two soup cans or something like that that you can use in your hands as weight and a bench or a chair or some sort of stationary object that you can put some weight into to do some hops. We'll get to that in just a minute. We are gonna start with today's skill, which is two movements. We're gonna do four sets of 10 wall facing overhead squats, and then we're gonna move into four sets of 15 90 90s, and that's where those soup cans are gonna come in. So Byron's gonna give me a hand, and we're gonna start. This is how this is gonna work. We are gonna start, I'll hold on to those while you do your, we're gonna start with those wall facing overhead squats. So he's gonna get as close to the wall as he can and still get down to approximately parallel depth. Arms are gonna go up, he's gonna keep that nice strong back and he's gonna lower himself down and come back up, ideally not touching the wall. If this is really hard for Byron, he can move his feet out a little bit and try again and see if he can get a little lower. The big thing here though, same as in the gym, as soon as those heels come up, you stop and come back up, Byron. If your heels are coming off the ground, that is as deep as your squat goes, and that's cool. So if you can't get as low as that, don't stress about it. Widen those feet to a position that feels comfortable, go as low as you can. So Byron's gonna knock out 10 of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. And then he's gonna come pick up his soup cans. And we're gonna do 90-90. So this is, he's gonna take his arms up like a scarecrow position and bring them back down to 90 and up. So he's gonna go through that 15 times, keeping his shoulders nice and, his arms nice and level, his back is tight. So he's keeping those, those shoulder blades pinched back. And this is a nice, slow, controlled movement. After he's done 15, he's right back to the wall for another set of 10 of those wall-facing overhead squats. So we'll keep cycling through this until you've done four sets of each movement. All right, catch your breath. And then we're gonna move on to the Metcon. Today's Metcon is a Tabata. Everybody hopefully knows what that is now, but a Tabata is always the same setup. It is eight rounds, totaling four minutes of work. So you're gonna, for eight rounds, you're gonna do 20 seconds of work, followed by a 10 second rest. And we've got four movements to get through. So the first movement is going to be elevator plank. We're gonna do a full, a set of these at each station before we move on to the next one. So elevator plank, uh, Byron's gonna get down to a plank position and we're gonna have fun with this. Instead of staying stationary, for 20 seconds, he's gonna go from his hands down to his forearms, back up to his hands. You're gonna keep walking through that cycle for 20 seconds. Then when the timer goes, you're gonna stop, catch your breath for 10 seconds and go right back into that movement again for the full eight rounds. Okay, so with plank, as with anything else, he's trying to keep his butt nice and low. We don't want that coming up into a pike, and we don't want his belly sagging. Okay, so think about keeping those abs engaged. Make your feet, uh, wide, uh, have them as wide as you need to to get a good base there. And then up and down on those hands and forearms. Okay, so we'll pretend he's done eight rounds of that. He's moving straight into the next movement, which is glute bridges. So keep those heels as close to the butt as you can and just lift those hips up. Don't worry, we don't wanna arch the back necessarily. What we're focused on is engagement of those glute muscles. That's what matters. It's not how high the hips get, it's how tight the glutes get. So he's just gonna focus on his form, keeping his shoulders down on the ground, 20 seconds of work, and then he'll rest for 10 seconds, cycle through that eight times. And then we are up and moving on to our hops over the bench. This is where you need your other prop for today. You're gonna, be able to, you're gonna need to be able to brace your hands on something. And just like it says, we're gonna hop over it. There we go. So if you don't have something that's long enough for you to hop over, if we just pretend this was the edge of a chair, Byron can grab towards the end and still just do those hops as high as he can. This is also a good modification. If you don't think you can hop over the bench, that's cool to just get as high as you can and just keep moving back and forth. All right, once again, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, eight rounds. And then we're moving on to our last movement, which is flutter kicks. I'll move that out of the way. So Byron's gonna lie down and just kick his feet like he was in the swimming pool. Keeping that core nice and tight, the legs are nice and long. We're trying not to get a bend in the legs if we can help it. If you need to touch your heels, you could do that, but ideally we wanna keep them up off the floor as much as possible. It's only 20 seconds, 20 seconds, then you get a 10 second rest. 
We're gonna cycle through that eight times and that's your workout of the day.